We are back in Banff guys. It has been a long time since we were staying overnight. That was back in January when we stayed at the Buffalo Mountain Lodge. This weekend in mid-May we are prepared to stay at two wonderful hotels that are going to give us some majestic views and we were prepared for rainy weather and we were going to cancel the trip actually but it turns out it's like plus 20. I'm already a little bit hot this afternoon but um, we are really excited to be staying here this weekend and we brought out our EV bikes which we snatched at Costco and these bikes are super tiny and cute but they do a wonderful job taking out uh, taking us out on the road and we're prepared to take them out tomorrow morning Lorna and I were actually here not so long ago and this place was actually completely frozen. And right now, you just gotta come see this. It is completely melted. Like it is the emerald green water with a ton of people because it's a huge family area. But hopefully we can still get some great photo content or video content, but we're gonna try our best. There's probably, I don't know, like 80 people here. <laughs> probably, like tons of kids. And a lot of kids, yes. They look like that. Oh, they have a little, like look, look, they have a little like beach area. Do we did we see this last time? Do we remember ever so. having yeah last summer? Do we remember having like this little like beach area? I think there was always one. Oh yeah. that's pretty cool. Well I guess yeah, if you have kids then you can bring them over and uh play in the gross sand. So on our way out from Johnson Lake, we saw a couple cars parked on the side of the road and we noticed this patch of blue-green water on the side with a couple of guys and their dog. So we decided to follow them, see what was up. And we never knew of this location, this, this river with the mountains in the back. We have been here countless times and we've never seen this. It's beautiful. So one thing about Banff and that you're gonna realize this is that there's little hidden gems everywhere. And so just like for us, like I don't think we've been here before. Like it looks so incredible with this kind of view. We tend to stop a lot and I feel like you guys will too. You're gonna find little hidden spots. You're gonna wanna pull off the side of the road to grab that photo, to see some wildlife, just like we saw those geese. There's a lot of like elk, deer, sometimes bears, be careful on that. But yeah, honestly, when you guys come out here, be prepared to explore, you know, get off the beaten path, go check out different places. If there's people there, maybe go follow them. Can 
Can you can you push off? You look like you're stuck. I just want to support. Mm. <gasps> look at that balance, man. So now we're at Two Jack Lake, and honestly, the conditions look amazing, don't you think? Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. We did not expect this at all. No, and so it was crazy. I was actually here last week. Yes. I was biking, and I was taking some photos. And if you look just all the way back there, okay, this was actually all completely, it was ice. That's what it was. It was actually ice. And what, a week later, is completely blue-green water, no ice to be found. It is so warm, so hot. Honestly, it's such a great time to visit Banff. Honestly, we like the winter. There's some good vibes, but... Man, you come here through spring, you come here during summer, you're gonna have a much better time, I think. Yeah, there's so much more you can do on the lakes too, versus in the winter. Sometimes you can skate, sometimes you can't. Yes, so yeah, there's skating, there's gotta be skiing, but during now, oh, the amount of water sports that you could do on here, and that's something we're planning on doing in the future. Mm -hmm. Getting a canoe, heading out onto the water. So right now we finally made it to our last stop before we check into our hotel and that is Lake Minnewanka. Very famous, we see the boats are already out. So during the summers, actually starting this weekend, you can actually do a boat tour. So we're very excited about that oh, as well. Yeah. We did do that it years ago, right? 2016, I think. 2016? Yeah, 2016. We did do a boat ride. Um, did you think it was, I don't think it was that worth it though. I liked it because we went all the way over there. Remember we saw, I think it was like coyotes or something across mm. the way, but I I didn't know how big Minnewanka was until then. Yes, it is a massive, massive lake. Nobody really like paddle boards here. Nobody really does any water sports. Just because it's so massive, it gets quite windy and the waves are pretty choppy. So we really wouldn't recommend that. Oh yeah. So if you want to experience it, go do the boat tour. Oh, and wasn't it just like last month that we were skiing here? It was, com yes. it was almost completely frozen yes. at that point. And same thing. So when I was here last week, so I'll show you the water real quick. Do you see how it's completely, it gets water, right? It's, it's a lake. So when I was here last week, none of the water was showing. It was actually really? completely frozen. Seriously. It was completely frozen with only a few patches of water here and there, but nothing like what you're seeing now. All right, we're gonna pull over to the bigger camera to get some B-roll shots, get some photos and such. But this is a very, very beautiful place and we're super excited we get to spend you know, a little bit of time here before we check into the hotel. Hungry. We finally made it to the Juniper Hotel. We will be showing you guys a little room tour in a little bit. We probably will get some food first. But I <laughs> promise we will show you the food. Sorry, not the food. We're gonna show you guys the room right after. Thank you so much. Here is the buddies that are joining us for dinner. Do you see them? So those are the buddies who are joining us for dinner. Sometimes it does sort of blow me away how these animals get so close to you, but they're not scared. You know, which obviously is a good thing, but you know, it's just awesome to see. We are in the Deluxe Mountain View King Room. The bathroom is pretty standard, so we're not gonna show you that. But we did opt for the king bed because it gives us a little bit more living space. We know that the room isn't that spacious, but it does give us everything we need. I mean, we've got 
the TV, the mini fridge, some drawers for storage, and a work desk for us to do some editing later. And we also have some free coffee and Taz tea. I mean, who doesn't love that? But the main reason why you guys should really consider staying at the Juniper Hotel and this room specifically is because of the mountain view. Okay, so we got about 20 minutes until sunset. Hopefully the colors will pop out super nice tonight, but we will definitely film some B-roll so you guys can see what we're gonna see later tonight. And we will catch you guys tomorrow for an even better adventure out of Lake Louise, as well as riding our bikes. All right, catch you guys tomorrow. Today we are going to be riding on Bow Valley Parkway. Please do let us know if we may assist with anything throughout your stay. Warm regards, Sarah Jenkins and the Fairmont Band of Springs.